From the arch's entry to the accounting classroom and the athletic court, Tom Cronin felt he belonged at St. Thomas. And there was very few places where I could play basketball in college, and this was one. We played in the third floor of O'Shaughnessy. The old locker room was, I mean, it was a cage. You know, you went up and got a jack strap and a towel. If you could sneak one Jim, pie Jim O'Brien, maybe you got a new one every day. Cronin played for a legendary coach, Tom Feely, who gave him his first chance to pass it on, pay it forward. Then I coached the freshman and scouted for him for a year. That was a good experience. I enjoyed it. I, and I'm a basketball junkie. He also was a business major who got a law degree at William Mitchell. Certainly equipped me for what I needed to do. You're not solving every problem, but you have, you have some principles that you can solve problems with. And a partner status at McGladry, the accounting and tax consulting giant. To do that, you really listen well to others. You make decisions that are helpful to many, and you're a good person, and he is. And he did bring those traits to his alumni role at St. Thomas. We went to the 25th reunion, and there was like nobody there. I remember thinking to myself, well, I'm not gonna let this happen at the next big one. The next big one was the 40th, and how things changed. We'd have 35 people at a, at a meeting. You know, and, uh, and you could sit right next to a guy, maybe you didn't even know that person real well when you were in school, but it, it was, once again, the commonality was just so easy. Everybody knew why we were there, and uh, I thought, we, I, I don't know what the numbers were, but I think we had a great result. Ronan got results wherever he went. Member of the alumni board, the president's cabinet, the athletic association, and the Tommy Club cabinet. Annie, Stacy, how you doing, Derek? Good to know you. Good to meet you. He was always a person to say, yeah, I'll do it, I'll be there. He's got a passion for volunteerism, and he's got a passion for volunteerism at St. Thomas because of his positive experience. Like being a member of the Tiger Club and its basketball team that played against Sandy Stevens and Bobby Bell, and being a finalist for Tommy of the Year. I think it's good to feel good about where you were. Where he was at 18 was Fenwick High School, outside Chicago. He's endowed a scholarship at St. Thomas for its students. Your hope is that you got a deserving student that can do something ultimately they wouldn't otherwise be able to do. And uh, I mean, my, my endowment is nowhere near the size that could make a yay or nay difference, but with enough of those, it could. That's the spirit driving him in his battle against cancer. Early on, I said, well, look, I'm gonna assume if I feel terrible, the chemo's really working. And if, and, if, uh, and if I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. And so that's the way each day has to be. One of my right, favorite, right, favorite yeah. guys of all time, yeah, right oh, here, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any day he spends at St. Thomas is a good day. But it really is the whole experience of, uh, you know, friends, values, uh, institutional kinds of things that, that continue on. I have not been around uh, a, an alumni, board member, or volunteer that has been as dedicated as, as Tom. To know you, Tom, is to love you. He's that kind of a guy. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the 2012 Monsignor James Lavin Award, Tom Cronin.